so it came to my attention through a comment uh, on one of the videos that if you upload a non-JPEG image, uh, the website doesn't stop you from doing that. Uh, it just shows errors here on the post. So let's see that in action right now so we can fix it. So I'll hit browse here and instead of loading a JPEG, I'll load a text document and hit open. And then I am going to say post. So now you see this is what happens here. You get an error telling you that uh, this is not a JPEG. It's not a valid JPEG. Okay, so how do we uh, fix this issue? We are not supposed to have this. It should just tell us that uh, this is the wrong thing to do. Okay, so let's go to our, our text editor and see what we can do about it. So we will go to the post class in here because the post class is what creates the post. So create post is over there. And so I will come down here to a point where I'm uploading the file and then I do the resizing right here. So instead of having it go through all this here, we're just going to check real quick somewhere here uh, has images equal to one. Where is this? Has images equal to one. Okay, so what is it checking for? If it's profile image or not, it goes there and so on. Okay, so is cover image. Uh, okay, I'm getting confused in my own code here. Okay, so at this point, has image should be equal to zero. And I actually don't know what happens when has image is equal to zero. I actually didn't think this through because what should happen ideally is that if both has image is equal to zero and then the post is empty, it should not create a post at all. So I don't know why I did not uh, use the has image here. Okay, so at least we need something to post here. I could have sworn, please type something to post. Oh, there it is. It's actually there. So where is this here? Where is this if statement? It's over here. All right. Oh, getting confused here. So let me go back to my uh, post here and try to just post here. And I get this, uh, the following errors occurred, please type something to post. So we can use this right here to tell the person that uh, this was a wrong image to post in here. Okay, so what does it do here? It actually gives an else statement where there's an error. So let's copy that right there, return error. Okay. And then we start with uh, the error being empty right there. Okay, so what we will do now is if there was a file posted, even though it's not JPEG, it will pass through here. And then regardless whether it's a uh, profile image or cover image here, it will still go through there. Is profile image, okay. And then this is the part where we're actually uploading the file. So it's okay, I think, to create the folder and everything. Yeah, so that part is all fine. But here where we are telling it there's an image right there, that's where the problem is. So what we will do is let's put an if statement here. And we're going to say if, so let's check for what we want. But uh, before I do this here, let me put that in there. Let me add an else statement so I can paste what I've copied here before I lose it. So I will paste that. Uh, we can say something like the selected image is not a valid type, something like this. You can put your own error messages, of course. 
and then because this error is going to contain something we can use that to check before we actually even create a post so post creation starts here where we are getting the db and all that so we need not go through all this if there's an error of some sort so what i will do is right at this point i will say if this error right there if this error is not empty like so so it means there is an error here so let me put that open and close i will cut that out and put it at the very end here so that we literally do nothing if uh, there is an error of some sort then let me tab this in like so okay so what we've done here is we're checking if this error is not empty then oh actually if it is empty so if this error is empty so there's no error then we continue here and actually do some saving okay so let's go back here where we are creating an error over here so let me move that slightly back like this and put the brace there of course so let's put an if statement here so the if statement we are looking for is uh let me just put the value true here just so we don't have a syntax error now let's see what happens when we actually post uh when we post a non image so let me go to files here so we can check for it right here um, actually we could have checked at the at the top right there or we can do it right here uh, no biggie so what i will do is right at this point i will tell the script to die because i know it will pass through here and then up here i will tell it uh, i want to see what's inside here so i'm going to say print readable and paste that files okay but i will add some pre-tags here just so i can see it uh, better i don't know if i already have a function for this I'm beginning to forget my own tutorials here. Okay, so let's do that and see what we're going to get. So I'm going to browse here and go to the text file and hit post. And this is what I get. So as you can see, there's one important thing we can use here, the type of file. So you see the type of file is text plain. So this is a TXT file. So this is not the file type we want. So we can check for that. Just to make sure it's a valid jpeg okay so it's saying document expired so let's try an actual jpeg and see the difference here so let me go to my desktop i think i have an image here which is indeed a jpeg i will paste this and you see that what we have is that so this is how you test what type of file you are posting so that you know what files to allow so in this case i know this is the type of file i want so the type is image jpeg if for example i put um if i put a pdf or something uh maybe a shortcut or maybe there's a pdf somewhere i can find let's see here well unfortunately there isn't anyway you'd have seen something like application pdf or something of that sort uh, something of that sort so that's how you know you just check them out here and see what type you want so i'm going to copy this because i know now that's the type we want i will remove that and we can check for it here so what i will do is just go to the top here and show add an array code allowed these are the allowed file types that we're going to have so this means it will add to the end of the array so let's add image jpeg of course now if you're going to add other file types for example image png and so forth but i wouldn't recommend because even um, actually maybe pngs would work but uh, you, you you can test that out yourself but for now i'm just going to add this one but you can add as many as you want you can add pdfs and so on just remember that if the type is not a jpeg please do not resize it I think you can you can resize a, J, a a jpeg and i don't know whether a png can be resized or not but uh, you would have to test that but whatever
file type causes an error. For example, a PDF, you wouldn't want to resize it here. So you can do an if statement here if you're going to want to allow PDFs as well. So just do an if statement, uh, whether you want to do a resize or not, uh, that's up to you. And also in the post, when posting, that get thumbnail should be removed if it's another file type, for example, a PDF. So here, uh, maybe just for clarity's sake, let me remove this and put it right here where we are about to use it so that it's easy to know what's going on. So allowed type is that. So all I need to do is check if this current file type exists inside this allowed section. So to do that, let us let me get this. Uh, I don't even know why I'm using files here when I'm supposed to use files there. No, oh, this was some uh, sloppy programming right there. Hmm, not cool at all. Okay, so what I should have done here is files, but it still works anyway, but uh, just for portability, it's better to do that there and probably might have copied this from some other code so let me copy that here and put it here like so so the function that we want to use is called in array so we want to check if the r value is inside the array so what is the needle the needle is what we are looking for so i'm going to cut this and put it here now if we go back here you'll see that it's inside type that's what we are looking for so I will put instead of file, oh, actually it's file and then type here. So if in array file type and the haystack is this array right there, that's the haystack. So put it there. And I think we have enough curly braces here. So, okay, good, 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 good. So this seems fine. So if in array, we do that, okay. If it's not, then we say the selected blah, 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 and all that. Great. So let's come back here and give it another spin. So let me zoom out, browse. Let's add, um, let's add the text file here. Post. So it says the selected image is not a valid type. So you can tell them uh, stop only jpegs jpegs allowed something like so okay so they can try again later but let's try and add an actual jpeg let me go to my images somewhere here my trusty images equal let's add a random image here post Okay, so this one has worked just fine. Okay, so that was a quick fix for a problem that uh, was noticed by some of the viewers here. So, very good. I'll see you in the next tutorial.